Well, the season may be over for the St. Louis Blues, but one young fan is already looking forward to next year. As you'll learn in tonight's Making a Difference report, even though the team doesn't know it, they're helping him find his voice. Oh, yes, he's got the <laughs> zipper <laughs> sound. Bozak. Sometimes even small words are big. Look in the mirror, say parico. Yes. That's certainly the case for five year old Rory Demeter. And what's his name? When he first started speech therapy, it was a struggle. He was very limited. He really had no vocabulary like you would see with a typical child. When Rory was just three, he was diagnosed with speech apraxia, a motor speech disorder that makes it difficult to form words. It was hard, especially around the neighborhood. Um, people that didn't know him look at you and kind of are like, what do you say? The problem isn't how Rory thinks, but how his brain tells his mouth muscles to move. His other muscles move just fine. If they made a Zamboni for a garage, it would be low on gas. Rory spends hours playing hockey at home. And if he's not playing his favorite game, he's watching his favorite team, the St. Louis Blues. Yay! Unless bedtime gets in the way. When we put him to bed and have to record it, he's up at 4 a.m. Mommy, mommy, who, who won the game? Since that is pretty unusual for a five-year-old, Mrs. Crutchfield decided to turn that passion into purpose. Barbara, shh, yeah. Working with Rory three days a week at the Fort Zumwalt Early Childhood Center. 41. Or Google. Uh-huh, or Tuzo. She started using the blues yeah. in her lesson plan. He started pointing to the, the numbers and saying, hey, I know that guy. I know that guy. He's a good player. Keep in mind, hockey names are often hard to pronounce. Number 77. Miguel. Uh-huh. But one night, a few weeks later, Rory surprised his mom by saying a player's name. A player from Russia. Tarasenko. <laughs> I was like, what? What'd you just tear a single, Mom? So who's your favorite player on the team? Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly, huh? Yeah, yeah. What number is he? 90. We spent just a few minutes shooting it around, and though it was one-on-one, -on -one, just missed. Rory clearly had the man advantage. Do the Blues have a player named Colton? Pareko? Pareko, yeah. that's right. We got to practice that. Speech apraxia is not a problem that children outgrow. Who is number 77? Amiga. Uh, oh. You got it? Improvement takes hard work. This guy right here, what's his name? But Rory is in the attack zone. Gun. Oh, shen. He's really trying harder, and it is exciting as a teacher to see him really take off. Oh, good, you did it. Woman, number 46. A five-year-old boy scoring big against his toughest challenger. Mike Huff. And credit a hockey team and a teacher. Let's go blues. With the assist. Uh -huh. Can you say it? Say let's go. Let's go blues. Yeah. I can't thank her enough right. for what she's done for our family. Now, if Rory keeps working hard, his mom tells me he should be able to communicate normally by the time he reaches middle school. A reminder, if you know an inspiring person, a heartwarming story, or someone making a difference, let me know by email at mbush at ksdk.com. The annual Folds of Honor.